All right, shalom, shalom, shalom. Most high Christ bless. What's your, what, what's your question? You have something that you have on your mind? Yeah, one question. Yeah. What's the question? Question. Today. Uh, today. My question is that uh, today, how can a man receive eternal life? You got that from your Matthew. You got that? Hey, because that's a very, very, very good question. And then after that, I want first Matthew 3 and verse 43. Because the reason why this brother is asking that is because we, the so-called black, Native Americans, and Hispanics are in a very, very, very low status. You, you, you take a look at this, take a look at this area, right? Although they're trying to gentrify us, they're trying to push us out. And if we were in our heaven, would we be looking for eternal life? Would we would we be looking for the end? We would be uh, living it up. But my brother, do you are you are you able to live it up? In this kingdom, are you able to live it up? No. Why is that? You got it? Because we are in a low state. The so-called black man is in a low state. So what are we doing? We're waking up the so-called black man. We're providing them with the key to eternity. Get that from us. Look at Matthew chapter 19, verse 16. So the brother asks, how the hell do we get out of this implorable low state? How do we get out as a so-called black Hispanic Native American man and woman? How do we get out of these areas? How do we get that eternity? What does the scripture say to our four people? Read. And behold, one came and said unto him, Good master, what good thing should I do? So you hear that? One of the one of the brothers came up just like this brother came up and said, Hey, what good thing would I need to do, my brother, that we can do what? That I may have eternal life. That I may have what? Eternal life. That I might have what? Eternal life. That you might be immortal. Not immortal in this low condition. Not immortal in this low state. Yeah. How can we return back to the kings, the princes, and the princesses that we once were? Right. What did Christ say to him? That's a very good question. I'm going to finish that off. Read. And he said unto him, Why goddest thou be good? There is none good but one. Uh-huh. That is God. But if thou wilt enter into life, if you want immortality outside of this kingdom, outside of the white man's kingdom, what does the so-called black man need to do? What does the so-called black man with dress need to do? What what do we need to do? Keep the commandments. Do what? Keep the commandments. What's the keys to immortality, brother? Keep the commandments. We need to keep the commandments. You understand that? Oh, what's your other question? First Matthew 3 or 43. Right. What's the What's the question? I just read it for you. I just read it to you. Did you understand that? You understood that. Come here. Come here and let me reason with you. Come here. What's your name? Come here. Let me reason with you. So the brother asked, you know, how do we get immortality? Right? We went to Matthew. Right? What did the scripture say in Matthew? Read it again. I, I just want to make I want to make sure I, like I'm losing my mind. I don't want to seem like I'm losing my mind because the brother said that we didn't answer the question. So let's read it once more again. Once more again. Read. Matthew chapter 19, verse 16. Yeah. And behold, one came and said unto him, Good master, what good thing should I do that I may have eternal life? How do we get immortality? How do we return to being those kings and those princes that we once were? Read out. Read. And he said unto him, Why callest thou be good? There is none good but one, that is God. Uh-huh. But if thou wilt enter into life, if you want immortality, you're hearing me, brother? What's the dress? Yeah, if man. you want immortality, what? Keep the commandments. So what do you need to do for immortality, brother? Keep the commandments. Keep the commandments. Does that answer your question? You know why that's not good? Oh. Hosea 5 verse 15. You want to know the reason why that's good enough? Because our people are deaf. Our people are deaf. That's the reason why, hey, you, you're, you're Benjamin, right? Your parents, when they say something to you, they say it once? They say it twice over, right? Why is that? Read that, Hosea 5 and verse 15. Because our people, the so-called black, Hispanic, and Native American man and woman, we hardly hear it. We hardly hear it. That's why Ezekiel prophesied that we would have to come out to our stiff neck and rebellious people. If any other scriptures say, if we were to preach this gospel of you being the chosen people to any other nation, they would all listen. But the so-called black and Hispanic man and woman, they don't want to listen. This, this is it. You're gonna get, you're gonna cut down. This, this scripture answers that. Let's, let's, this is what, this is the reason why we're very low right now. This is the reason why you're covered in pain. This is the reason why I had to rush down here after work, after 
this labor for the white man for over 40 plus hours this week. This is the reason why. Read. Hosea chapter 5, verse 15. Yeah. I will go and return to my place. So this is the most high God, our father. Our father, so-called black man's father. He said, hey, I'm going to go back to my yard. Why is that? Till they acknowledge their offense. Till they do what? What did he say? Till they acknowledge their offense. Till they do what? Till they acknowledge that they've been in the wrong. That they're following after the Europeans. Right. Their customs. Their dress code. How they deal with one another. This, this place is notorious for brothers gunning one another down. The most I said, enough with that crap. What? I'm dashing all you away. What? And I'm going to turn my back from you. Bring it up. Read. And see my face. Uh-huh. In their affliction. When you get in your... When you're getting your foot, is God's foot broken in your When you are getting jacked up, that's what we are right now. We're jacked up right now. This is not our kingdom. Look at these places. Black smoke, soot, garbage everywhere. These are where we live. So yeah. all black, Hispanic, Native American. But we've gotten too comfortable in this low status. And all the other nations, they laugh and they dive and they, they're happy. Because they know that their kingdom, their rulership, that we will be on goal. But wait, uh, the most I said, read that again. I will go and return to my place. Till they acknowledge their offense. So what are you doing now? You so-called black and Hispanic man and woman. You are an Israelite. You are an Israelite. You are an Israelite. You are an Why are we being dashed up right now? Why are we wearing blonde hair in our hair? Why we have what you call alopecia? Why does all those bad things happen to our people? Why are our, the abortion rates so high in our community? Why is this a drug area, drug infested area? Why are we killing one another? Because the Most High God said, hey, when you would not keep our laws, this is what I would do. Read. And seek my face. In here, I want. The Most High God said, hey, so called black man and woman, the reason why you have to work 60 hour work week, the reason why your sons and daughters are being gunned down in the street, the reason why you have alopecia, the reason why you can't get a man, the reason why people are beating you up is because what? In their affliction, because I am afflicting you. The Most High God is afflicting you. This is divine affliction. Have you ever asked yourself, why the hell is it the so called black? Hispanic and Native American man and woman and child, wherever they go, they're in a very, very low status. If we go to Mexico, that's in Mexico, the, we, we reside in the barrio. The barrio is another term for the ghetto. As a so called black man in Canada, land of milk and honey of gold and so on and so forth, where do we reside? The Eglinton West, the Jane and Finches, the Driftwoods. The, the count, all those areas where everyone is low, where they, they don't even clean up. It said, in your affliction, what? They will seek me early. So the Most High God is jacking us up so that we can turn back to the Most High God. Yes, what? As Israelites. Not as a Negro. Not as a black man. Not as a woman. Uh, not as a black woman with uh, a blonde wig on. We are turning back as Israelites. Right, right. The kings, the princes, the princesses of this world. And all the other nations are fearing that. Why is that? First, uh, first Matthew 3, verse 43. They fear this because they see us rising up. They see the armies. Do you ever wonder why? Let me show this. Uh, come here. Show this. No, um, soldiers. I'll get you that too. Remember that. Where's Israel on geographical map? Have you ever wondered why this stuff happened to our people? This is a zoo in North America, in, uh, in the States. In New York. Zoos of our people. Our people are being looked at as monkeys. We were attacked by the white race. Hijack. Yes, they hijacked. The so-called so uh, Jewish or the Amalekite man, that if you drive down to Bathurst and Lawrence, they hijack our history. And the only reason why is because we stopped keeping God's commandments. You got that in uh, with Psalm 17, about us, uh, them being the sword? Hold that one and then yeah. Yeah, get that. The, the, uh, see, we as Israelites, as Israelites, we don't care or concern ourselves about all the other nations. 
Although they did all of these atrocities to us, you know, look at this, making our women as, that's, a, that's our sister, stripped naked. And in today's world, you can put it down. In today's world, they're doing the exact damn thing. With, uh, with Cardi B and what have you, huh? We are black people, we are living as kings and queens before all of this. Yeah, we were. But we said, you know what? I don't like my brother in a white shirt. He's a nigga. You know what? I want to rob him of that. And it is divide and conquer. But you can see the thing is, we give too much power to all the other nations. The Most High God said he will afflict us if we did not keep his commandments. What? So how would he afflict us? Would he come down in white? with a big sword and lop our heads off, this is how we're being jacked the hell up. So the reason why we're being jacked up is because, hey, those other nations are the... That's in Habakkuk 2 as well. You don't have it? Read that. Don't you have the highlight? Yeah. Psalm chapter 17, verse 13. Uh -huh. Arise, O Lord, disappoint him. Uh -huh. Get him down. Right. Yeah. Deliver my soul from the wicked. Does deliver my what? Deliver my soul from the wicked. The sword is the wicked. Guess who the wicked is? Where are you guys from? Are you from South America? Mexico? Any of that? No, these ones. You know who the wicked is according to Malachi 1 and verse 4? The wicked is the Caucasian man. All the other nations are the wicked. Bring up! Those are the ones that afflict us. Those are the ones that gives us those, you know, pushes, says, oh, you know what, I'm going to put that condo up there, it's going to be for you, but it's as a means or a secret block to push us out. The Most High God said, what? Arise, O Lord, disappoint him, uh -huh. cast him down, deliver thy soul from the wicked. The wicked is what? Which is thy sword. Which is what? Thy sword. The wicked, the other nations outside of the 12 tribes of Israel, it's the Most High God's sword, or in today's terms, is his, his his gun, his tech knife, his Uzi. Good. That's how he jacks us up. The Most High is breaking his foot up in our derriere because we chose not to keep his commandments. So he put the the other lower nations over on top of us. Good. So what we're doing right now is again, verse nine, three, three and verse forty-three. What did the Bible say? A Bible was written by man? Yeah, it's the Bible, the word. No, the scripture doesn't say that. You want to, let's, let's get this person over. You, you have a lot of good you have a lot of good questions. You have a lot of good questions. You have a lot of good questions. Alright, so over eighty eighty yeah. But who said that? 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 Tyrone did Tyrone say that? Tyrone? Yeah, did Tyrone or Jermaine? No, it was that in the other nations. The white people taught us that. You wanna know why? Because this this is this is the reason why they did that. Read. First Maccabees chapter 3, verse 43. They said one to another, they said one to another, let us restore the decayed estate of our people. Sorry, sorry. Our people said, what, what you're seeing right now is our people are saying, let us restore the decayed state of our people. That's what you're seeing right now. That's what you're seeing in the purple and glow. What? Is we're saying, hey, you know what? Enough of this. Enough of this ghetto life and whatnot. Let's build as kings again. Uh -huh. Because I have an idea, seven brothers have different minds. So, seven, we all, that, that's, but that's, that's the world. Yeah, that's, that's the world. Yeah, that's, so look, look, let yeah, me yeah, ask yeah. you a question. Let me ask you a question. Right here, right? Does it seem like it's all different minds? First Corinthians 1 and verse 10. Does it seem like it's all different thoughts right now? All right. Answer that question before you ask another one. So I'm gonna ask you. I'm gonna ask you this question. What What is um my brother over here wearing as a top? Uh, what color is it? What color is his hat? Is he wearing flip flops? All right, this guy behind the camera. What is he wearing? The same thing. What about the brother behind him? 
What about the brother over there? Same thing. What, what about this brother? What does that show you? First Corinthians 1 verse 10. See, the world divides. But when we say to amongst one another, hey, let's restore the decay and state of our people, we come back collectively. What? That's right. We put away the gunk of the, the Edomites, the so-called white men, and all the other nations. Because the Bible actually says, commands us to do that. Read that. Book of 1 Corinthians chapter 1 verse 10. Now I beseech you, brethren. Now I beseech you. One and ten. One and ten. Right? So this is Paul speaking at the church of Corinth. Uh, he, uh, what, what do you mean? In the church of Corinth? Oh, no, that's in 12. That's in 12. That's, that's in... Yes, yes, that, that's in there. Exactly. That, hey, my brother's prophesying. And that, that goes deeper. That goes into what he said. Because... Let's finish this off and then let's go to the, the scripture that you quote. Read that. Now I beseech you, brethren. Now I beseech you what? Now I beseech you what? Brethren. What? Brethren. What? Brethren. No, enemies. Brethren. It says brethren. So Paul's speaking to who? Who's he speaking to? I want to know that you're, you're gathering. Who is he speaking to? He is speaking to his brothers. His fellow Israelite brothers. Men of Israel, who's the king? Christ. Who's the king? Christ. Who am I? An Israelite. Israelite. Who am I? An Israelite. Israelite. He's speaking to his brothers who are Israelites. Yes, right. He's not talking to the Chinese man. He's not talking to the Indian man. He's talking to the same brothers that were in the low state in the in Rome that are being jacked. I'm answering this question. I'm coming back. It's, 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 hey, just hold, hold on, hold on. We have a lot of good questions, right? So, so he's, remember what you said is that. Hey, don't we all have a uh, divided mind? The Bible commands us read. No, I beseech you, brethren, in the name of the Lord, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, uh -huh. that ye all speak the same thing. That you do what? That ye all speak the same thing. So what you're seeing, brothers and sisters, right now is the black man is banding together and all speaking the same damn thing. Yes, That's right. Man. And all the other nations are fearful of that. Power, while Heron was pushed, but at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone, 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling, these are how our men repented at heart, the scriptures is proof, IUIC, we deliver the truth.